Sexual assaults on college campuses are getting more attention nationwide this year. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. UTC has also gotten negative attention after a wrestler was expelled for sexual misconduct. New tonight, we're hearing from the victim who filed a complaint against the university. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo joins us now with that story. Brianna. Josh Kim, I spoke via email with the victim in this case, and she is currently in New Mexico. She says she's upset with how UTC handled its college judicial process. The U.S. Office for Civil Rights is investigating her claim. We talked to a civil attorney today who has represented sexual assault victims. He explains how difficult it is to prosecute. Nearly 100 colleges and universities are being investigated for reported sexual assaults, including UTC. Earlier this month, student wrestler Corey Mock was dismissed and expelled for sexual assault. He chose to go through a Uniform Administrative Procedures Act hearing. Civil attorney Stuart James explains. Those processes are tried to design to resolve the issues of either sexual harassment, you know, assault or something like that through a private process to preserve confidentiality. Then when you get into a lawsuit, you know, it's all public. The victim says she is upset about how the internal investigation was handled. In an email to News Channel 9, she writes, I had to petition to be present for the hearing. She continued to say, I was never given the opportunity to speak or question my assaulter after I was questioned. I later found out that I should have been given that opportunity. UTC says in a statement to us that they are confident that the university's investigation and hearing processes led to the appropriate outcome and were conducted in a manner that was fair. And they continued to say, we will cooperate fully with the OCR and are always open to recommendations that could improve the manner in which we respond to complaints. The victim is also using those claims and others in her Title IX lawsuit alleging discrimination based on sex. The Office for Civil Rights sent a letter to the UT system saying that it will investigate whether UTC failed to promptly respond to those complaints. When it comes to making a claim in the court system, the victim says criminal charges may or may not make a difference. The legal system can be as unforgiving as the university system. James explained that process on the civil side. UTC has tried to be held liable for the actions of this wrestler. They're going to argue that they have immunity and that they enjoy that kind of immunity, and ultimately they will probably file a motion to dismiss the claim. And the victim tells me that she filed her Title IX complaint in hopes of getting rid of the UAPA hearing as a disciplinary option. She also says that she hopes that hearing will also grant victims the same rights as the accused. Josh. Brianna, thanks. You can depend on us to keep you updated on that story.